decided to go into Walmart, last ditch resort, to find some Oreo O's that were probably not going to be there. And... <sighs> I need a vacation. Lo and behold, we found him! I'm so excited. And I know you are too. I can't wait to eat some cereal. And there's already somebody looking at me like I'm crazy right now. This is the official Oreo O's cereal review. Let's do this. I swear, I go through like two pounds of strawberries a day. Guess it's not really that much of a problem right now. And neither is oatmeal. Oh, oatmeal. Because I have to have cereal too, come on. These blueberry checks are really growing on me. Really growing on me. My legs feel like they're about to fall off. Gosh. I need a vacation. Getting too old for this shit. And to think I've had every single box of cereal here. Alrighty guys, I just got home from the store, my little bike ride, and uh, I had to go to Target too, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So boring stuff out of the way first, I had to get some foil and also some cooking spray. I am going with coconut oil cooking spray, so so I had to get that, and then I saw this, and it looked very interesting, it was pretty cheap, so I always make cauliflower stuff, or not actually as much lately, but I wanted to try it out, and it's got some corn and peas in there too, so yep, looks delicious. And then after that, I decided that I wanted to get some melatonin and I keep forgetting to get melatonin until today. So I decided to get that right there. And then you guys know this is the best stuff to clean up your kitchen with. So I had to get some more of that as well. And then moving on to the stuff at the grocery store, manager special. Yes, I love this stuff. It's amazing. Diet a and W right there. Um, snap peas and then because I'm going to be making my own peanut butter here in just a few minutes I decided to get some peanut butter wait hold on I decided to get some peanuts so that will be made very very soon speaking of which you gotta turn that open we got some strawberries and I decided that I wanted to get something new for you guys right here that I have not reviewed, at least I haven't reviewed this flavor. So this is the vanilla bean flavor from Proyo. Now I've done the chocolate flavor and I believe the chocolate toffee fudge flavor. So I am going to be doing this one as my next review. There were no good Ben and Jerry's points anyways, so I'm excited to go with that. And then next we got some cashew milk right there. These which are amazing, rice uh, good thins. They're like rice crackers, I love them. And then I am eating more potatoes now, so I got some potatoes as well. Those are really good and then I had to get some more apples as well and then some celery because I got to dip my peanut butter in my celery so you guys get it and then right there last but not least we have some pizza sauce so that's what I got at the store guys I'll see you in the next part of the video. A few moments later. weeks later many months later so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one the only downside of making peanut butter is you kind of have to do this a lot and it takes a long time
peanut butter. Yum. The finished product right there, folks. Moments later. Well, everybody, it's one of those times I just got out of the shower and uh, figured, you know what, I gotta do something with this. I had to clean up a little bit, at least. I really would love to go ride my bike right now, but we gotta eat some food first. We gotta play some Skyrim too. If only I actually had decent arms. I'll just keep dreaming. Wait, who gives a shit about arms anyways? So apparently there's this groundbreaking new documentary on Netflix called What the Health. I'm gonna see what it's all about. So what the health on Netflix? Apparently eating chicken is five times worse than smoking a cigarette. The more you know. This is gonna get interesting. This is kind of sounding like another propaganda movie. All I'm hearing is don't eat meat, don't eat dairy. <sighs> if you guys want potato chips quick and delicious, you gotta make them this way. Oh, what a hit on Dunham by Switowski. I think I made him shit himself. <sighs> Not that way. Let's make some potato chips. No. Trust me guys, these are delicious. I promise. Alrighty guys, so tonight we're gonna be trying out the Proyo Vanilla Bean flavor. Now this has got 10 grams of protein per serving, so I guess you can call it a healthified ice cream, if you even want to call it ice cream. Whatever, let's just get into it. Alright everybody, and here's the first bite. <laughs> this stuff absolutely blows my mind. So this is a low fat ice cream, it's high protein, and it tastes exactly like briars, or dryers. Dryers or briars. You guys get it. It tastes like legit ice cream. Now I do say that this has a bit of a weird, I guess, texture. It's kind of like a slimy texture. After you get into, um, I guess, the first bite, well, all the bites really. But when I think about vanilla ice cream, I definitely think about old school Briars uh, vanilla. That is exactly what I get from this, guys. The only downside to this stuff is that it is a little bit costly. I think I paid like almost five bucks for this entire thing, so. Yeah, but for 120 calories per serving, you guys can definitely not go wrong with this. I gave good reviews for the chocolate and dark toffee chocolate flavor, I believe. That was the last one I did. And I have to give another solid review for this one, guys. This is gonna get an overall rating of eight and a half out of 10 for me. The best way to do it. Crackers, homemade peanut butter, that's an easy. That's an easy. If you guys aren't making your own peanut butter at home yet, I got bad news. We just can't be friends. I'm just kidding, we can be friends totally. The next day. You know guys, I have to admit, I wasn't having the greatest day. You know, pretty much just went into the gym, did some squats, hit some PRs, which is really nice. Something just wasn't feeling right. Decided to go into Walmart, last ditch resort, to find some Oreo O's that were probably not gonna be there. And Lo and behold, we found them! I'm so excited. And I know you are too. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I can't wait to eat some cereal. Well, I am back from the gym and heavy squats have me feeling like... Yeah, I need to take a nap. Moments later. So, uh, you wanna go get some uh, dinner later? Well, breakfast? Did I ever tell you how much I loved you as a kid? Can I just kiss a cereal box? What is my life going to? 
the big moment, the ultimate cereal review. One of the most highly anticipated cereal reviews of my entire career of cereal reviews. Yeah, that kind of sounds right. Oreo O's. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide. I had to. I had to, guys. I picked this up at the store today and uh, let's just say we had some fun together. Unfortunately, Oreo O's were discontinued around a decade ago and uh, they've been renewed. For the past few weeks, ever since I found out about this, I've been waiting in anticipation for this damn cereal and now I have it. So we're gonna review this cereal right now. Let's do it. And as I'm sure you guys probably guessed, we had to pull out the golden spoon for this one. Folks, this is the official Oreo O's cereal review. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. Whoa. I had to do it guys. I knew it was gonna be amazing. Spoon drop moment. Oh my goodness. It's just so good. It's so good. Just look at it. It's just amazing. I can't even begin to describe how amazing the cereal is. What were they thinking discontinuing this? Silly post is silly. I will say everybody that the original Oreo O's had marshmallows in it and that was what really won me over when I fell in love with them back in the day. For recreating a classic like Oreo O's. Post certainly has done an amazing job at it. One of the key things with Oreo O's is that it actually turns your milk really, really tasty. Well, I'll just put it that way. It tastes like Oreos. Everyone, I'm just so excited that hopefully this is gonna be staying on shelves because this cereal truly is mind blowing. There's no reason to critique this at all. It doesn't even need to be critiqued. It just gets an overall rating of 10 out of 10. Go get off your ass right now and buy this cereal, seriously. So guys, I just wanna say thanks for taking the time to watch the video. This one was kind of a shorter one just because I wanted to kind of give you guys a little sneak peek about what's coming next. You have all day breakfast? One sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle, please. The McGriddle. It's like it's pure art. All right, I need to stop now. Right now, everyone, I am feeling pretty good after this week. I am currently day eight into my little detox phase that I'm going through. It's still pretty hard for me right now, but I'm feeling a little bit better and my strength is getting better, which is something I've been striving for for a long time. Right now, when I don't have a lot going on day to day, it's kind of nice to just have one goal and not overwhelm yourself with a bunch of different stuff at the same time. So I can pretty much just eat food, go to the gym and uh, focus on getting stronger. And that's pretty much all that matters to me right now. As always, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. Do me a favor if you haven't already, check me out on Patreon. It's a great way for you guys to support us YouTube creators because we do take a lot of time and effort to make videos like this. So again, guys if you haven't already go check it out follow me on my social media facebook snapchat twitter instagram you know the drill thanks again for watching the video guys and go right ahead